There are an array of local organizations who are drawing attention to and highlighting Black History Month. One such example is KCEP, better known locally as Power 88.1, and they're here today represented by General Manager and On-Air Talent Craig Knight. Also joining him is Ken Young, the Talent Coordinator for Gospel Fest. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Great. 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 Thank you for having us. Well, we're always a pleasure coming in, and we already mentioned the Jordans, but yeah. you can't see, you can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always a man for the shoes. So I let's talk quickly a, a little first about KCEP. There are okay. some people out there, I'm sure, who aren't completely familiar with it. Sure. How did KCEP get started and, and your connection with the community? Too? Sure. So KCEP was established in 1972. Um, it's owned and operated by the Economic Opportunity Board of Clark County. Now they're called the EOB, and they were established in 1964. Now the EOV started as a services and having programs for the underserved in the community. And it was based off an act, Economic Opportunity Act, that Lyndon B. Johnson, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed in 1964. So fast forward to 1972, the EOB decided to start a radio station to get an FCC license and to get the information out to the community on their services. So basically that's how it started. Now, Craig, you touched a little bit on programming. So yes. tell us the black history programming that KCEP has. So actually, every day we have black history facts, right? So black history is American history. And we have black history facts 365 days a year, not just in February. And 366 days because, you know, this year is a leap year. And um, <laughs> we right. basically educate the community. We run it throughout the day about what happened on this day in black history. So that's one of the... Uh, one of the programmers that we do. And then we do an annual program of the Gospel Fest kicking off Black History Month. And that's where my man Ken comes yes, in. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> it started back in about 1999. Mm -hmm. um, Tanya Myers had an idea to bring a Black History celebration through music to the mm -hmm. city of Henderson. And so we started at the uh, Black Mountain Rec Center, uh, packing it out right. once a year, just celebrating go uh, Black History through gospel music, traditional gospel music, contemporary gospel music, and just having a great time out there. So the tradition has continued. Uh, this is our 24th actual year. Mm -hmm. uh, we lost a year two years during the pandemic mm -hmm. but uh, it's been great people come out from all over the communities yes. to come out and converge on Henderson yeah. well talking about that I mean obviously you know it's a, it's a reminder and a reflection and a celebration and, yes. and with that comes events and this weekend uh, you, you're connected with some events as well yes so the, the uh, gospel fest is actually tomorrow this Saturday February 2nd Water Street Plaza in the city of Henderson they've been great partners with us doing this and we asked to you know most people say check your problems and your troubles at the door and you come in what we're saying is bring your problems right. and your trouble lift them up to the lord and celebrate and leave out of here with that burden off your shoulders with good music and praise and worship also we have coming up we have uh saturdays we have a partnership with the nfl alumni and we do legendary throwback saturdays that's inside the Palms, inside the Ghost Bar on the 55th floor. That's every Saturday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. That's, That's great. Good. Now, you also have a Black History Month premiere coming up. Talk to yes. us about that. Oh, yeah. How could I forget about that? <laughs> yeah. So we, we did a celebration since the radio station uh, celebrated 50 years in 2022. The last week of Black History Month, we're going to premiere uh, 50th anniversary documentary on a radio station. Wow. So you hear more about it. Just stay tuned to 88.1 FM and uh, we'll be announcing where you can see the premiere. And we also have partnerships with Vegas PBS and Reno PBS in the city of Las Vegas. It's the Centennial Grant. So the city of Las Vegas is, is funding this this project. So thank you and shout out to them. Well, the, the station isn't just, uh, you know, it's, uh, focusing on celebrating Black History Month. Uh, right. We also have the Super Bowl just around the corner. Yes. How is the station looking forward to, to that? What are you guys doing? So actually, we are participating in the Soul Super Bowl, wait, Soulful Super Bowl event that will be aired on CBS on Saturday night. But uh, we're going to do a taping on Wednesday night, and it's featuring Kirk Franklin, Mary Mary, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Wow. Uh, uh, hosted by Cedric the Entertainer and uh, Tashina Arnold. So that's going to be taped on Wednesday night, and tickets are available for that at Ticketmaster. Sounds it's like a lot of fun. Yeah. I tell you, yes. I tell you. Yes. Well, thank you both so sure. much for thank joining for us this yes. morning. Yes. Tune in to 88.1 on your radio or visit Power88LV.com for all the info. And be sure to check out one of these awesome events happening.